Hello everybody, this is a little preview of this week's module on speaking to entertain. So speaking to entertain means speaking for listener enjoyment. It is usually in the form of storytelling and it involves emotion, uh, expressiveness, um, utilizing the five senses, and conveying some kind of moral or ethical message. So uh, speaking to entertain could be used um, in life transitions and celebrations, in the ending of life cycles, in the beginning of life cycles, uh, of commemoration of people, events, or history, or even to inspire us in the future. Speaking to entertain is probably one of the most common types of speeches that you'll encounter in your life because they really involved, you know, life, culture, community, regions, history, things like that. So when speaking to entertain, it's very important to have a central message. And usually that central message should be of a moral or ethical intent. It should be something that is useful for the audience to know about and something that reflects some cultural, some cultural value system. Maybe it could be something like, um, you know, respecting others, or it could be, you know, having a strong work ethic, or it could be about um, forgiveness. Speaking to entertain also involves storytelling. It involves people, situations, events, locations. Um, it also includes language, descriptive language that creates vivid details that are based on the senses, such as color, shapes, sounds, you know, feelings and thoughts. Uh, so when speaking to entertain uh, for this particular speech, try to manage time and fit it within the time frame. Try to relate the topic to the audience and extend or outreach yourself to the audience. It should be something that's true and something that you actually went through in your life and not something that you're making up. Um, and it should be colorful and detailed and expressive. So for this particular speech, you're entertaining us about an event, an experience, or relationship that had a significant influence on your personality. So it could be a work experience, a life experience, a relationship, someone in your family or community. It could even be an important mentor or teacher that you had, or a book that you read, or a place that you traveled to. So I'm really looking forward to these entertaining speeches. Good luck.